hey you guys welcome back to our channel this is your girl honey and i'm back again with another delicious recipe but before i get into that i want to welcome all new subscribers and also welcome you back to our channel it's been a while and i miss you guys so i was like i have to get up here today so that you guys can hear me see us and cook with us as usual behind the scenes we have been really busy and that is a good thing because in business you um long for those days where the clients reach out to you and ask you to do the things that you love to do uh, we have some events coming up and i'm just so excited um our empanadas are still the number one seller of our business and we have two events that we'll be cooking 570 empanadas can you believe that <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so excited right now you just see me cutting open a watermelon i haven't had a watermelon in a long time and when i saw this seeded watermelon i said let me get it i'm cutting it for giovanni's lunch and also i'm putting the rest in the bag so it's easy for us to get it when we want a quick snack. Why that watermelon play with me like that? <laughs> but I had to give it a taste. It is mommy approved. I am all done. Let's put it in the refrigerator and get the dinner started. I'm going to marinate us some chicken, guys. We're gonna make us some hot honey chicken. So go ahead and grab the chicken thighs. Don't forget that Noemi's green sauce. If you don't know, dang, you're missing out. After you clean your chicken, you're gonna add it to a bowl along with your hot sauce. Mix it up before you add your seasoning. It just work out better for me this way. So I use the tomato and chicken bouillon. Um, also cumin, salt, and pepper. I use garlic and hot chili flakes. And off camera, I put adobo. I mix that up really, really well. Make sure that all of the chicken thighs are coated. And if you have saran wrap, I will go ahead and tell you to put that on top. But if you don't, like me, a paper towel works really well it's going to go into the refrigerator for at least two hours soak your skewers and then add that to your chicken so it's really easy but it got messy for me so i was like i'm not going to show that for it to you guys um but i added the rest of the marinade on top get you your griddle and some oil y'all hear that sound it's hot. <laughs> Put that for at least five minutes on each side for 20 to 25 minutes. Or when your chicken hits the temperature of 160 to 165 degrees. I flipped it over and I also made the honey sauce on the side. And I just used two ingredients, you guys. I use butter and honey and that was it. You want to make sure you coat your chicken thighs with that delicious sauce. And if you're anything like me, you are a sauce boss, as George would call me. And I put a lot. But if you don't like that much, then it's okay. As long as it gets the honey flavor. So it can be the hot honey chicken. So after you put the glaze on there, it's going to cook really fast, so be mindful. But I like mine's char just like this, and it is done. I also made rice, so put this over a bed of rice, and you are in business. And I made my daughter some shrimp, and she said it was just as good as the chicken. 
So go ahead and try this recipe and let me know how it tastes. Hey y'all, so we're outside today. We gotta run a couple of errands. I miss y'all, did y'all miss me? Like I really miss y'all. Um, we had some business to take care of behind the scenes. We got a lot coming up this week. And I was like, I need to get in front of my people because I haven't talked to them in a very, very long time. So right now I am in the car on my way to pick up some much needed items and exchange some items that we don't need. You know, um, George, he and I, we bought the same thing twice, so I'm returning it. Um, I was getting us a microphone for our phone because right now I do have a camera. <laughs> but like I said, I have this big white camera. I don't know if I told y'all, I got this big white Canon camera. And I don't want to be holding that camera. Like, I need a really cute small black one. So I feel like, hey, I'll just vlog on my phone and I was gonna get us a microphone because I've been, the noise in the car, excuse excuse the y'all, it's sunning outside. Oh, let me get from this spot right here. And I know my car is very loud, like George got these loud pipes on our truck. And I was like, they need to be able to hear me clearly, right? So I thought I was picking up us a microphone for um, the phone. Instead, I got a microphone for a camera. I already have that microphone. I already have that. So, we do. I'm not keeping it. And then I bought my daughter a book. You know, I don't know if you guys know this author named eric jerome dickey now he was the author that um made fly girl he made a sequel to fly girl i don't remember what that was but i didn't like that one like i do i had it but sister sister and now that was a book and i was like she around her age i was reading sister sister and i was looking forward to being one of those sisters like they were girlfriend. What? That's probably where sister sister came from. No, um, girlfriends came from that that book, cause that they can look they kind of similar. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make the exchanges over here, and then of course we're gonna go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Like I need me a smoothie. This is the perfect time to open up this. Um, yeah, I need a smoothie. This is a unicorn flavor. It's actually good. And it's a limited edition. This is magical lemon cupcake. It tastes so good. We got some business to take care of on the other side of town. Um, we got our hair out. This is all mine. No bundles. No units. Scalpiana. Looky looky. I cut like three inches off yesterday. Shout out to George for helping me cut the back. Oh, he was cutting my hair yesterday and it sounded like he was cutting paper. I said, oh, you not cutting no damn paper. Like, it made me so nervous. Come on, buddy. Go, go, go. You don't even, you shouldn't even be driving if you can't merge. It sounded like he was cutting paper. And he got upset. So I had to, you know, let me just, a shout out to me for my growth. And because I am learning how to pick and choose my babies. Like, it's not fix him, it's fix me. You know, like, not getting upset. I'm loving this new me. I'm loving this new journey. I'm loving, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm about to burp, y'all. Like everybody rushing, they gotta be on somewhere on time. I ain't got no on time. <laughs> I love that. So 
I am in the Asian market and let me just tell you guys I'm having a good time I am finding so many items that we need for this weekend because we got a lot going on and you know nope it's not the aisle well these are the noodles that the kids might like I wouldn't even know what to pick up. Chili paste. Is this the one? Yes. Thank you guys for watching and I'm going to end the vlog here.